All right, so it's Tom from Metacraft Pottery, and uh, this is just a training session to show how to uh, weigh out clay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you got a clean surface. Get all the cl dry clay dust off of here. You can even wet down the sponge a little bit to make sure you got it all. So I'll just take the wet sponge. probably want to vacuum up after every session. So there you have that. And clean off the scale. It's nice to have a clean scale. So there's the scale. So after a few hundred of these you're going to get it down. Mm -hmm. Basically this is how I do it. Pull the bag down about halfway. See, more dried clay, move that to the side. Let's take about halfway. Here's the needle tool. And basically, you just sort of hold it like that. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. And then you just, you look over the top of it, and you just cut it. You just go like this, and you pull. And then I usually will go like this to get the excess out off there. <clears throat> now that you did that, you lay the wire tool flat, you take the clay, you see it'll stick, you gotta sort of pull it apart. And just sort of set it so that the wire's close to the middle of the clay here. And you pull it up, and the idea is to cut this into four equal parts, you see? And the whole trick is laying down the wire, putting that flat, pulling up. So now you have four of these. Okay. Now you'll get a feel for the size, um, but basically I'll take two at a time like this, mm -hmm. and then you just line it up, you have to line up both sides, and then you just push it through. And you just do them one after the other. You don't have to be perfect because you'll see in the weighing process. Mm -hmm. This is just to sort yeah. of get it close. So I'll usually do half at a time. And the idea is while you're doing it, you don't want the clay to dry out. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's why I do it half at a time. So here's the scale, and just press on, it'll say preset and zero. So then th that's when you take your clay, you set it down, and this says 10.3. That's when you want to just sort of take a little bit away, 8.2, take a little bit away, now it's 8. That's what you want. Okay. You keep, you're always going to have a backup ball of clay. Okay. So you keep that there, and then you just sort of just smash it like a hamburger patty. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And then you can set it down. Now you were saying I could do balls too. I was thinking about right. doing balls and then now, flattening it. Yeah, right, right. Now check it out. See how it says point one? You press zero, right? You just press zero to zero it. Okay. So that's 7.9, mm -hmm. so you just want to add a little pinch of clay on there. And you just keep on adding tiny bits until it says 8. And then just 2. Now, if you, t if you get a piece that, like let's say, 
Okay, that's 9.7, it's a little heavy. But sometimes what you'll do, 8.1, and take a little off, take a little off, 8.0. Now if you need to you see how I have leftover clay here, I can set that down and see where I'm at 3.9. So that's not close yet. But let's just say I put down a piece and it's short, 7.2. You just add your clay, there's 8. Now when you have two pieces like this, what you can do is you can take it, smush it with your hand, but you can also smack it down. See that? Boom. Done. Sometimes it works out. Perfect. See how there's two pieces of clay? Mm -hmm. Just smack it down. Smack it down. That's it. Boom. Done. Mm, that seems like simple and you just do that over and over again with hopefully some good tunes playing. And you'll get a feel, I mean, eventually you'll get a feel for what 8 ounces is. Yeah. Um, so, you know, boom, done. Okay, so once you have some a bunch of these made out, you know, you have enough space on here. You want to put down the wax paper, and you just pile them in there. And in this bucket, you can get three across, four length, etc. so on. And then once you do that, obviously, you add a new layer until it's filled. Okay. And then after that, just make sure and take the plastic cover. And this is a little bit of a stretchy material. Mm -hmm. um, this can get a little tricky, but basically, you see how I did that? And then pull down the plastic, make sure this is nice and tall. Done. So here we have Cynthia Ackenbach, um, apprentice helper, making some lumps of clay. And this tripod is caught on the table. Oh. She's a natural. What do you have to say? It's pretty simple, really. If you can't do this, I'm worried about you.